Hello students, today we will discuss overview of terpenoids and their biosynthesis. Hundreds of reactions simultaneously take place in a living cell in a well-organized and uh, integrated manner. This entire spectrum of chemical reactions collectively called metabolism and the product of this metabolism is called metabolites. So plant metabolites are uh, categorized into two main categories, primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites, which include amino acids, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, nucleic acids, are compounds that are necessary for cellular processes and uh, involve directly in the growth and development of plants. Secondary metabolites, including compounds like terpenoids, alkaloids, phenolic compounds, are produced in response to stress, such as the case when acting as detrient against herbivores, right? So, scanty metabolites are toxic or repellent to herbivores and uh, other microbes and help defend plants that are producing them. Scanty metabolites are very useful for humans and uh, have been subsequently exploited by humans for their beneficial role in diverse array of application. Plants can manufacture many different types of scanty metabolites. Over 50,000 uh, scanty metabolites have been discovered in plant kingdom. There are three broad categories of plant scanty metabolites as natural products. These are terpenes and terpenoids, alkaloids, and phenolic compounds. Terpenes and terpenoids also refer to as isoprenoids. Approximately 25,000 different types of terpenes and terpenoids, 12,000 different types of alkaloids, and approximately 8,000 different types of phenolic compounds have been identified in plants. Terpenoids have been reported to be the major component of essential oils for ages. Now, what are essential oils? Essential oils are volatile and concentrated liquids extracted from different parts of plants. Terpenoids are derivatives of terpenes, which contain oxygen molecules. And all terpenes have fundamental repeating 5-carbon isoprene units in their structure. This is isoprene unit. Terpenes are simple hydrocarbon structures. Just look at this diagram. And terpenoids are oxygen-containing hydrocarbons and are defined as modified class of terpenes with the different functional groups and oxidized methyl groups moved or removed at various positions. Terpenes or terpenoids are classified uh, into seven different classes. First is hemiterpenes. Just look at this structure. This is hemiterpene. Hemiterpenes are terpenes made from single isoprene unit and have five carbon atoms. Monoterpenes consist of 10 carbon atoms with two isoprene units, right? And molecular formula is C10H16. Then, sescoterpenes. Sescoterpenes are class of scanty metabolites consisting of three isoprene units with molecular formula C15H24. Sescoterpenes are found in linear, cyclic, bicyclic, and tricyclic forms. Next is diterpene. This is a structure of diterpenes. Diterpenoids belong to a versatile class of chemical constituents found in different natural sources. The molecular formula is C20H32 and structure having four isoprene units. Then sesterpenes. Sesterpenes consist, uh, consist of 25 carbon atoms with five isoprene units and uh, their molecular formula is C25H40. Then triterpenes. Triterpenes consist of 30 carbon atoms with 6 isoprene units and their molecular formula is C30H48. Then last tetraterpenes or carotenoids. Tetraterpenes are also known as carotenoids. Consist of 40 carbon atoms with 8 isoprene units, right? This is structure of triterpene, 6 isoprene units. If we add two more isoprene units to this structure, 
it will become tetraterpenes. And uh, molecular formula of tetraterpene is C40H64. Next is terpenoid biosynthesis. Despite the enormous structural differences between terpenoids, they are all derived from same C5 skeleton of isoprenes, right? The building block of terpenoid synthesis in nature is isopentenyl diphosphate, formerly called isopentenyl pyrophosphate. Just look at this structure. This is isopentenyl diphosphate. There are two major routes to the synthesis of this isopentenyl pyrophosphate. One is mevalonate pathway and the second one deoxyxylulose pathway, right? The mevalonate pathway or MVA pathway comprises seven enzymatic reactions to convert its precursor or its starting material acetyl coenzyme A to isopentenyl diphosphate, right? And then to dimethyl allyl diphosphate, DMAPP. While non mevalonate pathway converts its starting material, its uh, starting material of non mevalonate pathway is pyruvate and glycerylidehyde 3-phosphate. This starting material is converted into IPP through eight enzymatic in eight enzymatic reactions, right? And then these uh, two building block for uh, terpenoid synthesis are converted into different types of terpenoids, right? So we will discuss both the pathways, mevalonate and non-mevalonate pathways separately. Mevalonate pathway and non-mevalonate pathway, as I told you now only, Starting material or precursor of mevalonate pathway is acetyl coenzyme A. With the help of enzyme acetyl CoA uh, thiolase, new compound from acetyl CoA is formed that is acetoacetyl CoA, right? Then this compound is converted into another compound, 3 hydroxy, 3 methyl uh, glutaryl CoA with the help of enzyme HMG CoA synthase, right? Next compound of this series is mevalonate. This is uh, this is formed from 3-hydroxy-3-methyl-glutaryl-CoA uh, uh, with the help of enzyme HMG-CoA reductase, right? Then from mevalonate, mevalonate 5-phosphate is formed with the help of enzyme mevalonate kinase. And next compound, mevalonate 5-pyrophosphate is formed from mevalonate 5 phosphate with the help of enzyme phospho mevalonate kinase, right? And then the last compound, which is the building block of uh, different terpenoids, that is isopentenyl pyrophosphate, is formed from mevalonate 5 pyrophosphate with the help of enzyme mevalonate pyrophosphate decarboxylase, right? Second pathway that is non mevalonate pathway. Here, the starting material or precursor is pyruvate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. With the help of enzyme DXS, uh, uh, a compound, next compound that is 1-deoxy-dexylurose-5-phosphate is formed, that is DOXP, right? Then, next compound, 2-C-methyl-D-erythritol-4-phosphate, uh, uh, MEP, is formed with the help of enzyme I. SPC. Then this compound is converted into next compound that is 4 diphosphocytyl 2C methyl D erythritol with the help of enzyme ISPD. Then next enzyme that is ISPE uh, is involved and this compound is converted into a next compound that is 4 diphospho. Uh, cytigel 2C methyl D erythritol 2 phosphate, right? Then next compound 2C methyl D erythritol 2 4 um, uh, cyclodiphosphate is formed with the help of enzyme ISPF. And then this compound hydroxy 2 methyl 2 butanyl 4 diphosphate is formed with the help of enzyme ISPG. And 
this compound is then ultimately um, converted into IPP and DMAPP with the help of enzyme ISPH, right? So these two compounds, IPP and uh, DMAPP are the building block of terpenoid synthesis, right? So then these enzymes, zeranyl pyrophosphate synthase and uh, fantasyl pyrophosphate synthase catalyze the condensation of these two compounds IPP and DMAPP to produce a series of compounds that is GPP uh, means 10-carbon uh, compound, then FPP having 15, car 15 carbon compound and then GGPP, zeranyl, zeranyl pyrophosphate is, uh, compounds are formed. Now, what are these compounds? These compounds are linear prenyl diphosphate, GPP, zeranyl pyrophosphate, FPP, farnesyl pyrophosphate and GGPP, zeranyl, zeranyl pyrophosphate, right? So, what are these compounds? These compounds are precursors for the formation of different type of terpenoids, right? So, these compounds with the help of different enzymes like this enzyme, uh, this uh, compound GPP, zeranyl pyrophosphate, with the help of enzyme monoterpene synthase is converted into monoterpenes. Similarly, sesquiterpenes and triterpenes are formed from FPP that is uh, farnesyl pyrophosphate with the help of enzyme sesquiterpene and uh, triterpene synthase. Similarly, diterpenes and tetraterpenes are formed from GGPP that is zeranyl zeranyl pyrophosphate with the help of enzyme diterpene tetraterpene synthase, right? So, this is, uh, these are the two different pathways for the uh, terpenoid synthesis, right? Now, role of terpenoids, uh, terpenes and terpenoids on human health. Terpenoids are also, means no, these terpenoids are known to have anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antiviral, antihyperglycemic, antioxidant and cardioprotective properties which can help reduce the risk of chronic diseases like heart diseases, diabetes, cancer, right? They can also help boost the immune system and improve digestion and also reduce stress. Additionally, terpenoids can help improve skin health also, reduce the risk of age-related cognitive decline also, and even help with weight loss, right? I will also tell you what are the dangers of terpenoids? The potential dangers of taking terpenoids as a dietary supplement include an increased risk of liver damage as well as an increased risk of drug interactions. Uh, interactions. Additionally, terpenoids can interact with certain medications such as anticoagulants and can cause serious side effects. Taking too much of terpenoid supplements can also lead to an overdose which can cause nausea and vomiting, etc., right? So it is very important to speak with the healthcare professional before taking any dietary supplement, including terpenoids, right? So this is all about terpenoids and their biosynthesis. If you have any question, please write in the comment section so that I can answer. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.